Auzubillahi minash shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Inam de Kano and his IPOB miscrant challenged me to swore by the Quran if I did not collect 20 million from him. And after collecting the 20 million, I did not use the money. I'm repeating myself over because it's very important. I have a name. He doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a name. That I collected 20 million from him. And I did not do what I'm supposed to use the 20 million for. And that instead I betrayed this man to the DSS. And I brought an English translation of the Quran by Yusuf Ali. Every Muslim know this. So that they will not say he just brought an Arabic book, it's not the Quran. And one of them have now said, oh, this is not the Quran, this is uh, English meaning of the Quran. I'm going to oblige you. This is the Arab full Arabic Quran. If you can read Arabic. This is a Surah to Fatia. This is Surah to Fatia. To Nantes, so that you not say it's not the Quran again. I oblige you with English, and you say it's not the Quran. This is to Surah to Nantes, the end of the Quran. And this is Yusuf Hali translation with the Arabic and English. This is it. Ask any Muslim. This is 60 Egypts of the Quran. 60 Egypt species. And this is a single small Quran. I want to say that I swore by Almighty Allah with the Quran that I never collected 20 million from Inam Dikan or his agent or any individual he sent to me. And I did not. And I have never betrayed any Biafran in this struggle to any security agency, including the DSS. If I had done that, may Allah punish me in this world and the year after. Now I still challenge Inam Dikano. If you did not, if you have not been collecting money from the Igbo governors and beyond the Igbo states, if you up to today, if you are not soliciting for funds from some of these governors beyond the Igbo state, and that you have not betrayed any through your, through your uh, personally or through yourself, your agent, to the DSS, you should swore by the Jewish Talmud or any other scripture of the Jewish Kabash that you now follow. Or by the long juju, the Chuku Kaobioma or whatever you call it, Chuku Kaobioma or whatever name you call it, that you should go and swear by it. And if, if you will not die, I challenge you to swear. It's not by lying and spoiling, talking, and your charlatans and your hearers and miscreants will go about talking. Look, I have top skin. This thing does not get to me, but I know that you'll be brought down. I promise you, I will bring you down. I will expose you totally as a con person. I challenge you to swear. If you do not, whether you swore or not, your days are numbered. Your hand is very near. And it shall allow you to be surely disgraced for praying on bear fans, from taking money, millions, hundreds of millions in their name, from collecting tolls from market women, poor market women, market women and men, threatening people and extorting money from people. I challenge you to swear. But I know you will not swear. I know you will try to wriggle out of it, but your sin has already caught up with you. 
Inamdi Kano, the collector in chief, extra and extraordinary. Your followers have challenged me that if I did not collect 20 million from you, I should swear by the Quran. This is a copy of the Quran. And I swore by the Quran so that you can read. It's not in Arabic, it's in English. You can read. I swore by the Quran that I never collected 20 million from you or from any of your representatives. That I never betrayed any of your members. You sent your members to me. They stayed with me and they left. As I'm talking to you, as I'm making this video, I have about 18 IPOB members with me, active IPOB members living in my house, living with me. That is the love they have for me and the trust they have for me. Combatant IPOB members who live with me, who go and come. So many IPOB commander, BSS commanders go and come back to see me. They call me, they talk to me. Sometimes they beg me not to talk. I swore. That if I collected any money and betrayed any Biafran, may God punish me, may Allah punish me in this world and in the year after. I also now ask you to swear. If you have not been collecting monies from all the governors of the Igbo states and beyond, running into hundreds of millions, that you have never collected a dime from them, you should swear. That you've never betrayed IPOB members to the DSN, you should swear. I know whether you swore or not, your days are numbered. You will soon be punished, and the whole world will see you are disgrace. I stand by this word, and I still maintain that if you ever give me two or 20 million, I demanded 200 million from you, May Allah punish me in this world and in the year after and disgrace me.